Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this is what is we have a raised to power n plus n. The same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. But this here, this same thing as 5 raised to power x times 5 squared equals to 60 from here. Then, next step, we have 5 raised to power x times 5 squared 5 times 5 is 25 and equals to 60 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by 25. That is, divide this side by 25. Also, divide this side by 25. Here, yeah, 25 cancelled each other. We have 5 raised to the power x equals to 60 over 25. Then also, yeah, we can write it as 5 raised to the power x equals to 5 times 12 over 5 times 5. That is, here, 5 cancelled each other. Then we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 12 over 5. Watch this video to the end. And also give it a thumbs up, share this video, put your comments, and subscribe. Yeah. You take the log on both sides as we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 12 over 5. Then, next step we apply the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to the power p. This is same thing as p log m. That is, here, yeah, all we have becomes x log 5 equals to log 12 over 5. Then here, we divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. Which implies here, log 5 cancelled each other. We have x equals to log 12 over 5 divided by log 5. That is, yeah, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, it's same thing as log a minus log b. That is, yeah, we can write as x equals to log 12 minus log 5 over log 5. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 12 over log 5 minus log 5 over log 5. And here, log 5 cancelled each other, we have one left, which implies x equals to log 12 over log 5 minus 1. Then, also here, 12 can be written as 4 times 3. That is, all we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 3 over log 5 minus 1. And this also follows from the law of log n. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. Then, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1. That is, yeah, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1. Then, next step here, we can express 4 as 2 times 2 as 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 5 plus 
log 3 over log 5 minus 1. Then, here also we apply the power of logarithm. So this 2 comes here and we have x equals to 2 log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1. Then here we apply change of base. And when we have log a over log b, this same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. That is the value of x here. We have 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. Then let's check here. If this satisfy this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. And what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1 then plus 2 this is equals to 60 on this side then from what we have here 2 minus 1 that's 1 we can write as 5 raised to power 1 then plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 this is it equals to 60 on this side then we apply the law of indices here. When we have a raised to the power n plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to the power log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then 5 raised to the power 1, same thing as 5, then times here. Yeah, we reverse this 12 from power log 1. We have 5 raised to the power log 2 square base 5 times 5 raised to the power log 3 base 5. This is equal to 60 on this side. At this here, we have 5 times 5 raised to the power log 2 square, that's 4 base 5 times 5 raised to the power log 3 base 5. Is it equal to 60 on this side? That is, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equal to b. And what we have here becomes 5 times 4, 10 times 3. Is it equal to 60 on this side? That is, 5 times 4 here, 20. And 20 times 3, it was 60, which is equal to 60 here. That is, we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.